this is Aprajita from Freshesworld.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Jobs and Careers. In the first session, we have discussed about UI, HTML, and that we have discussed about basic structure. And uh, we'll go ahead with that, and we'll come to know more about on the tags regarding that. So here we'll open the Sublime. Here we are having the basic structure of it. Now we'll write few more tags to represent our content on the body so that we can show in the browser what our website is all about. We are having here heading tag. Session 2. Yes, this is our heading for this particular page and we can have six headings like that consecutively h1 to h6 but uh, it will decrease according to priority and h1 is the ma h1 is basically the main heading for the document and after that you can have h2 to h6 for your other things to representing articles and other stuff we'll see the difference after writing this this is our h2 Less yes, now we will see, open it in the browser and we will check the difference. Here we can see that FW session 2, this is the H1 and this is the lesser priority one, another one, H2. Yeah, now we will move ahead with the paragraph tag where we will mention something in our paragraph regarding our article or anything it can be, whatever content you want to display. Never forget closing tags, always give closing tags. I am FW. Okay, our paragraph. I think I will change. I think it's fine. So here we are having one paragraph. Paragraphs are basically uh, block level elements. As we can say, if you will write some more paragraphs in that, if you will add few more in it, it will take from the new line. They will give margin, top and bottom. They are not inline elements. Even if you will give, give the nested one paragraph inside paragraph, it will come in a new line. As you can see in the browser, we will refresh it and we can see the difference. There is no difference. Even you have given the nested paragraphs also. It will come inside it in a new line. Yes. If we will move ahead with the block level element, we have one more element that is div. That is a division where we can mention anything, any content of ours. And that is also a block level element. Here we can give span and paragraphs, anything. So, in division, um, where is div? Yes, here you can see this is the one. Again, if now if we want to represent something in line, means in the same line then we can use pan tag for that yes now we'll check in the browser see i'm an inline element inside paragraph i've written this thing is representing in the same line as we have discussed so if you want to give break after something so we usually use break elements break tag is an empty tag whichever tag is not having any element inside or we can't write anything inside those those tags are called empty tags like break so i'll write something dog one and if I want to give break in between, I will write some other. I will refresh the doc. Mm, I will refresh. See, there is a. It automatically takes new line. 
like some doc one and after that one break and we are getting some other as we can see there yeah if you want to write something and you want exactly same what you are writing means same format same spaces everything same uh, so we can use pre tag for that make pre yes this is the thing if I will give something like I am having a good day after that I will give full stop after that I will give two spaces and I will give something else it's great talking you. yes fine so if you will check in the browser we will refresh the page see here we are exactly having two spaces gap and same as we have written if I will give some something else also I can you can give like that it's pre formatted whatever formation you will give it will take that so yes so that's all for the basic tags we'll uh, see uh, other tags and attributes mainly in our next session so please do subscribe our channel and please comment any query whatever you have if you are having any comments so please do subscribe our channel in fw channel and we are good ahead to go. Thank you.